This month, we will celebrate the Feast of Mater Admirabilis, the patroness of Sacred Heart Schools. Statues, paintings, and representations of Mater are found in schools around the United States and the world. But what does Mater really mean for us today? In our complicated 21st century world, it's hard to get a handle on Mary. Well, I think she did have to like carry Jesus at a pretty young age, so I think she is powerful, but I don't think much of Mary um, in terms of like being a oh, like feminist. I know she might not be, but like a really strong woman. Mary is a complicated figure. How can someone seemingly so gentle be a model for us when what is needed today in our troubled world is courage? Last year, Mr. Heatwell's ecclesiology students spent a unit reimagining what Mary would be like if she lived in the world today. These modern-day Pauline Pedraus created their own representations of modern maters. Let's listen to what Junior Yasina Garcia included in her representation of a mater that speaks to her today. So this is a racist note, and Mary stomps on it, much like how... Jesus stomped on the snake that was by his feet. She's around sin because of the bait. And there's a sin, it's a sin in the cloud because it's not what she wants. She's instead indulging in a book enhancing herself. And her hair is flowing because she's carefree. She's out there by nature because she doesn't need a, a place where she's told to be a certain thing. She's out doing her own things. And so how is this Mater uh, or Mary really particularly speaking to you today? What, what, what do you think is the most powerful thing about her? The most powerful thing about her, I think, is courageousness to be able to go out and be different. Because I myself, I find myself in places where I want to be like other people, but with Mary, she stood out and didn't care what people said about her. So is Mary gentle or is she bold? Or is she a little bit of both? Let's see what one of our campus ministers, Mrs. MacArthur, has to say. So when you think of Mary, what qualities come to mind? What, what strikes you about Mary? Um, when I think of Mary, I definitely think of a brave and courageous young woman who was willing to um, go along with the will of God regardless of what her society said to her um, and that she was able to have faith and trust that she had a mission to fulfill in being the earthly mother of God and um, and I just think at that time, that was a really bold decision for her to make. And, and I think we are called to continue to make bold decisions in the face of what seems to be adversity in our world. So the last big question that should be on everyone's mind, what's written on all those notes in Mater's lap? What's up with that? Ah, uh, here's a note. Mater, please bring peace to the world. Hmm, that's a pretty big order. Here's another one. Mater, please give me the courage to bring peace to the world. Now that's more like it. Instead of putting all our problems into Mater's lap and waiting for a miracle, it makes sense for us to ask Mater to give us the courage to work miracles through our actions. This is the mater we emulate today, our task as children of the Sacred Heart. We ask mater to give us the wisdom to seek God in silence, but then the courage to act on the call we receive. As a community now, let us pause, take a deep breath, and let go of any distractions you might have at this time. 
Close your eyes if it helps. Let's listen to a poem written for Mater, celebrating the qualities in her that we most admire. In stillness I do not wait, but prepare, listening to my heart beat, and the one that beats deeper still inside me. Though young, I will not be rash, for I know that great things are expected of me. I prepare for seeking, by pondering the mystery, I desire and yearn for more than comfort, more than success. Essential to this seeking is the kingdom my son will preach, a kingdom of justice for the oppressed and peace for the downtrodden. I will stand by my son's side, directing others to listen, walking to the margins of society, remaining even when the world rejects and extinguishes his life, not knowing what they do, trusting in God's compassion. Listen. In silence, listen. The holy beckons. The earth and her people cry out. Now act. Keeping yourself quiet for a moment, try to think of someone in our world today who exemplifies the qualities we admire in Mater. Who was someone you can think of who seeks the will of God in silence and then is bold enough to act? on what she believes is right. The person you are thinking of might be someone in history, someone in our world today, or even someone you know personally. Who is someone who seeks God in silence and acts boldly for justice? When you have a person in mind, you will be ready to follow the instructions emailed to you this morning by Mrs. Steenberg. Open your computer and log into your Villa Outlook and follow the instructions. By doing so, you will help all of us reimagine Mater for our world today. Thanks.